Hello everybody and welcome back to Xeroxian Quest. I'm your host Xerox, and today we are playing Subnautica. It's, uh, <laughs> I was supposed to have this episode and the next two episodes done like two days ago, so, you know, uh, I'm just back at it here, trying to finish it off. So there's a couple of things I want to do, and a couple of things that I think are just going to have to wait, honestly. Like... They're just gonna have to wait, that's all. Um, I'll put that in here. So, let's see here. I've got lots of stuff around. Um, do I have my. Yeah, I do. Okay. I mean, I'd love to go back to the Aurora right now, but I think my number one priority is just going to. Um, let's check our, our pings, our beacons. High priority passenger sunk to the ocean bed. Uh, Stranded near a cave system. Yeah, we've we've been all these. So so, or if we haven't, then we can go later. But let's just focus right now on. I think number one goal is to. Pardon me. Progress the story. So let's go and do that. We can build our base bigger later. Like right now. It's kind of cool that those guys are working their way up to being bigger, but let's just go right now. It's night, so it's dark. Well, it's not even night, it's like dusk. Okay, we're gonna go this way. <coughs> How are you guys doing today? I am doing good. It is... It is late. <laughs> it is 2 a.m. My son is wide awake, but we're not going to do anything with him because he's supposed to be sleeping right now. So we're just going to let him do his thing. Um, he'll fall back asleep. At least that's the that's the hope. Um, yeah. So so once we discover the story here, like I think it's important. Once I get over here, I'm going to read. You know what I'm going to do right now? We're going to do this. Do I have any of this? These are just logs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Data bank. Uh, here we go. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it's it would have so done cute. so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. Oh my god, it's so cute. This one's swim by. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out what they need. Don't crash into my thing. It's just so cute. So as we uh, heard there, there's some people who uh, who were living on this island, which I traveled to earlier to get some scans off, but I didn't talk anything about it. I didn't even, like, make it a big deal or anything, so. Goal number one is just going to be to go over there and uh, get all of the voice logs we can and just listen to them while we head off to the next space. You know, it's going to give me a, a bit of a break um, from talking so much. I'm tired. My, my th throat is sore. I'm moving uh, in six hours, uh, and I need to sleep in that amount of time as well. And I have a big day tomorrow, so... Reach on the surface. Oh no. What have I done? Oh no, there it is. There's something in there. <laughs> you can see it. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Floater Island again. <clears throat> some cool rocks fall in there. That's some neat effect that they've added recent not recently, but with the 1.0 patch, I believe. Alright. Let's get going. Uh, and, and just figure out what's going on on this island here. Yeah, I've never been down this hidey hole before. Oh, this is the hole. Uh, I didn't want to. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty neat. 
Let's see if there's something to yeah. do here. Oh, I, I fell. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, is there anything here worth grabbing? Let's find out. I knew there would be something. Is that what this one is? Oh. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comm, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. <coughs> if I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. That's good to know, I guess. <laughs> Let's try and find something else to listen to. Uh, yeah, so we, we learned earlier there was Marguerite and uh, Pal? Paul? Paul, I guess. Not the mall cop, you know, you're thinking of the wrong Paul. Oh, I can't go that way. There's something back there, though, so that's good to know. He is determined to be awake right now. Yeah, that's already been found. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's do this first. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Mark, and Veda, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the light pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made us salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life by a physical altercation and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. This part of space, that could be months, or even years. 
I didn't know I didn't have an indoor verb bed yet. I thought I had one of those. Uh, I don't want that. I want this here. I thought I had this one already done. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building material. Nothing left of the ship. And you kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rate is too slow to keep supporting. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get out. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me. There's no way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't die. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I've been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. Leave it at that though. I thought there was more. I'm gonna continue looking around a bit, see if I can find somewhere to go to. Hmm. Is there no more? I think it would be like. That's in there. We played them all. Okay. Okay, well, let's uh, let's look around a bit more and see if we can find any more of those tablets. If not, I I'm sure that we had to go to more of these places. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Might as well scan this guy along here. So I've already got whichever one was in here. Hmm. Okay, well let's uh, let's go on this journey together then. Oh, here's one. Aha. Uh -huh. It's really important that we uh, head in that direction, I guess, next. What is in here? There's nothing in there. 
Uh oh. There we go. I was really worried about that for a second. Alright. So then the goal is to get back to the Seamoth and travel to there. Eh, it doesn't look like too uh, too far away. Could probably make it there. Long before the end of the episode. So it looks like these guys were uh yeah, they, they got lost here long before we did. And uh they went on a trip. <laughs> uh didn't really make it out exactly where they wanted to. So oh. I forgot to bring my water bottle into the office. This is going to be a bad thirsty time. Look at that, you can see my base from all the way over here. I can see my house from here. Oh, this is this is dark. I'm 100% not a fan of this area. This is a little better, a lot better. I was very worried about uh, leviathans down there, specifically reapers. I found my way down here. I think I know where this is. Like directly on top of it now. I think if we hmm. <coughs> Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. This is where on my last playthrough that uh, crab snake got its way out somehow. Speaking of crab snakes. Ouch. Uh, yeah, speaking of crab snakes, this place is, is freaking. Thing is almost dead. that I have uh, a larger sized that's really good to have oh, I'll do that Today. She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level. 
bothered a kilometre northeast of here. As she needs boss night to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. The have holds Star Wars to Neptune, plus deal to the Federation. This family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Mayda thinks she's better suited to leave. Her contract still says otherwise. I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, a mortal. And Mayda is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Mayda just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of class steel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. We get off this planet. They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Interesting. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around the beach. Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that should be. You're bad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stops. Integrate the new PDF. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. Money makes the hierarchy. Why is Marguerite doing this? We need her. We let her think what she likes so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? But enough money she will. People always do. Look at that. Got some nice bushes going on in here. I wish that didn't cover up the sentries, but that's okay. I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty. Thing I've ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite. 
She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think that was where the snake that she made out. What's the point of surviving here? We have to kill him. We'll, uh, we'll continue on our travels here. I think we're going to head in... Oh gosh, that's 500 meters. Yeah, that's the one we're going to. Okay. Yeah, I should probably do that. Um, let's see here. Found myself some... Uh, air sacks. Okay, so I think the goal at this point is uh, primarily to... <laughs> First of all, I've got to get some water in me. I would love to eat some of that lantern fruit, but unfortunately it was decomposing, so I had to plant it. That's fine. Uh, number one goal right now is to get to that other um, Degazi site, and then when I get a message from the the uh, sunbeam, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll follow what they want us to do too. But right now, it's kind of primary goal, top top goal to to just kind of keep progressing the story. I don't want to fall behind, you know. Like I love building my my little home here; it's great. But there's really only so much it can do for us until you know we run out of things to build run out of building materials. I like to build as necessity comes along. So... Oh my goodness, there's no bladder fish. I'm lucky that I got that. I am very lucky <laughs> that I got that uh, lantern fruit. Because eventually I'm going to need it. Why are you not breeding? There was two of you in the same area. Oh, there's a few of you over there. Well, I'm gonna need you. Sorry. I know there's other biomes for these guys, but they're harder to get to. And uh, these areas are really close to areas that I can turn them into water in. So. Just making sure there's no more floating around here. Oh, there's one more. What I'm going to do next... It, oh, there's two left. Let's leave those two. We don't need any more than that. Let's, um... See what it takes to turn these into... Oh my gosh, why are you so close to my base? Oh, I guess they're not that close. See what it takes to turn these guys into larger waters. Uh, filtered water or whatever. I think I have to get coral tube samples, which I can do as well before the end of this episode here. So I gotta get bleach, right? Yeah. Yes, thank you. I uh, just so happen to be making some of that right now. But they'll be worth more if I can turn them into bigger waters, so. Bleach, okay, how much does it take to make bleach? Salt deposit and coral tube sample. I can do that right here. Now, salt is going to be the tricky one to find. But this one shouldn't be difficult at all. I just want these guys to last me as long as possible. So, I'm going to... Oh, I need, a, I need beacons. Badly. Good. It's a little home of these guys. That's so cute. Okay. Come on, salt. Where are you? 
another one. I just need five. Two. Three. I remember being terrified of like being near stalkers. That was sad time. Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. Four, five. Oh, might as well take six. Yeah, they don't. They don't really. They're never too big of a threat. Anyway. I was actually really concerned that it was crash fishing, that stupid thing. Well, we're almost there. I'm glad there's some more of those. Okay, let's make some bleach. first, and then we're just going to drink that right away. Oh, you got two of them. Look at that. I didn't realize you made two of them. Well, that that's really good then. And then we can kind of scoot on our way. Might as well take some of this anyway. Now food is going down slowly, but I think there's uh, we're gonna cut the episode there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. As always, I love you guys, but I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, so long.